Hi, welcome to today's meditation. My name is Rebecca, and I'm a senior here at um, St. Philip's. And today we're going to be doing a meditation over this Sunday's Gospel. Um, so it'll be Mark chapter 1, verse 7 through 11, if you want to follow along in your Bible. Again, Mark chapter 1, verse 7 through 11. And so today we'll be doing a Lectio Divina over the Gospel for this Sunday. And I just, I like to read through the readings at least once before I get to Mass. Every Sunday, just so I can really prepare myself for the words and what God wants to say to me from those readings. And so, um, I invite you to offer this moment to the Lord. Um, join me in prayer. Maybe close your eyes. We can start in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, come. Teach us to pray. So the first part is called Lexio, which means to read. And so this first time that I read through the gospel, just listen for understanding. Don't try to go super deep, super deep. This is what John the Baptist proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit, like a dove, descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. Just think over the scripture, what you heard, and don't try to go super deep. All right, now the second part is called meditatio, which means meditation. And so the second time that I read through the scripture, listen for a word or phrase that sticks out to you. Really try to think what the Spirit is calling you to look at in the scripture and how it applies to your life. This is what John the Baptist proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy, worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open, and the spirit, like a dove, descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved son. With you I am well pleased. Again, think over the scripture. What stuck out to you? What does the Lord want you to look at? All right, now I'm going to read a third and final time. This time, try to put yourself in the scripture. Maybe you could be John. How did you feel baptizing Jesus? Did you know that he was the Savior? Were you reluctant to baptize him because he was already so holy? Did you see the Holy Spirit? Whenever he came to Jesus, what did he look like? Or you could be Jesus. 
Why did you get baptized if you were not the one that needed saving? Why did you get baptized by John? How did it feel when the Holy Spirit came upon you? Why is God the Father so pleased with you? Again, put yourself in the scripture. Maybe ask yourself those questions as I read a third and final time. This is what John the Baptist proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth to Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. Take a moment. Think about what it would be like to be in, in this scenario. How would it feel? Who would you be? All right, now the third part is called a ratio, which means prayer. And in this part, just have a conversation with God. Whatever you need to bring to him. Lord, help me to accept your grace and your love. Help me to see how much you love me every day. All right. Now the fourth part is called contemplatio, which means to contemplate. Ask yourself, what is God trying to say to you? What can you work on and improve upon from this scripture? Do you allow the Lord to come to you? Do you allow him to work through you, even though you may think you're not worthy? Do you trust in his ways even when, you may not, even when they may not make sense to you? Maybe how can you participate more fully in each sacrament? You can take time to think about this throughout the day. And again, those are just questions that might help you. But really dig deep. What is God trying to say to you in this scripture? What does he want from you? And the fifth part is called actio, which means action. And in this part, think of concrete steps to take from the realization that you've just come to. Um, it can be small or it can be big, whatever the Lord is calling you to. We can close with an Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining us today. Have a blessed day.